Renegade Wrestling Alliance and that's members into what is called their Wall of Fame. We saw a former Wall of Fame a couple of minutes, well, a couple of matches ago with Mr. Bruzzi. Sam Rinaldo Bruzzi was last year's Wall of Famer. Would you please welcome the Wall of Famer for 2014. He's a former RWA Tag Team Champion. Ladies and gentlemen,
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is underway here as Tony Reno comes by, the official timekeeper for the evening. The main event is underway. 60 minutes for the RWA Heavyweight Championship. Chris Pyro cashing in his rematch clause against Mike Grossa. The Triple Crown Championship changed three times in the matter of two weeks. Pyro ducked under by Grasa. Grasa goes to schoolboy cover. One, two, and a kick out. Grasa saying he was very close here in our main event of RWA Legacy 7. Grasa main evented Legacy 6 last year. Pyro ducks under. Schoolboy roll up his own one, two, and a kick out at one. Cairo saying he was just that close as well. And then calling over tie up center of the ring. Side headlock by Mike Rasa. Cairo looking for a way out. Rasa outweighs Pyro by about 25 pounds. Off the ropes, goes Grasa into the far rope. Pyro ducks under, Grasa knows Pyro pretty well. Off the ropes goes Pyro, Pyro knows Grasa well. Off the ropes goes Grasa. Going for clothesline, both men catch each other and a standoff, nicely done. Mike Grasa has champion's advantage here at Legacy. But you wouldn't expect him to try to lose, or should he win with a disqualification or a count out. He is a champion's champion after all. A bit of chain wrestling going on for Pyro. Pyro, second rope, getting caught by Pyro, by Grasa. Clothesline takes down Chris Pyro. Grasa 
Frasa into the corner, being kicked right in the mush by Chris Pyro here. Frasa again charges. Pyro trying to block it with a kick. Frasa saw it coming. There's that second rope elbow hanging up. Pyro float over and a cover. One, two, and a kick out. Mike Rossi and Chris Pyro used to feud for the RWA Television Championship. And that was over a year, a little bit over two years ago now. These two lock up for the richest prize in the RWA, 14 pounds of gold, the RWA Triple Crown Championship. Off the ropes goes Rossi, he reverses. Pyro off the ropes, Rossi ducked under. Pyro stopped short and an insiguri takes down Mike Rossi off the ropes. Rossi gets taken down quickly, quicker than a hiccup as Chris Pyro nicely done. Pyro looks like he's going to dive, and Rasa moved out of the way. Pyro off the second rope, and a drop kick right to the face. These two know each other just so well. Pyro getting his crown behind him, measuring Mike Rasa. Off the ropes goes Pyro. Suicide dive takes out Mike Rasa. This crowd heavily favoring Chris Pyro here, RWA Legacy Cello Crowd 163 here at the Rec Center. Thank you for all of you watching on YouTube on the RWA Broadcast Network. Pyro got to fly, top rope, he slips a little bit. Grasa has the time to reevaluate. Grasa charges, Pyro couldn't get his balance, lands on his feet though, up and over. Pyro, spinning wheel kick, right to the gut. Um, Mike Rasa, up, oh, and almost a Michinooka driver, cover one, two, and a kick out. It was almost like a tilt the world slam, but it was also, it was either a tilt the world slam or a Michinooka driver. Either way, it was effective, took down Chris Pyro. If I was a betting man, I would say that was more, to, more close to a Michinooka driver as Rasa hammers Chris Pyro, Pyro meets up with him. Both men exchanging forearms. European uppercut by Chris Pyro. Rasa, scissor kick. Pyro follows up with a kick of his own. Both men staggering on their feet. Kick right to the side of the head. Pyro and charge. Rasa catches him. Elbow, another one to Mike Rasa, third. One for suplex. Pyro blocks. Excuse me, Rasa blocks. Pyro. Super kick right to the mush. And a kick, it was a Pele kick. Ended up taking down Chris Pyro. Both men down center of the ring. <laughs> Listen to this crowd, 163 on the end. Getting behind both of these competitors here, challenger and champion for the Triple Crown Championship. Up goes Pyro. Down goes Pyro. Catching. Off of that suplex, Mike Ross is snapped right up and suplexes this Pyro. It was a half Nelson suplex by Chris Pyro, nicely executed. Rasa popped right up. Here comes that drop kick. Pyro saw it coming, a kick right to the head. Pyro measuring Rasa. Rasa catches Pyro, puts him on the top turnbuckle. Pyro hung up. Rasa really taking it too. Chris Pyro. Rasa, is he gonna go post to post on Pyro? We've seen, no Mike Rasa, don't oh, drop kick! Only half of it, it hit the mark, and Rasa ate as much canvas as Chris Pyro did. Pyro rolls out of the ring, he needs a timeout.
Steve Mosher, the official of this match, senior official here at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Another main event for Mosher, who is in full control here tonight. Rasa, Mayo, Pyro, right in the back. Both men on the outside here. Rasa, no more catches, catch can style. All strikes here. Oh my God! Rasa's head right into that lower turnbuckle. And that could be terrible for Rasa. Is a shot right to the face. Pyro now just putting the face of Mike Rossa right into the apron. Rossa has not recovered from his face going into the turnbuckle. May have gone into the link that keeps the buckle to the post there. Now with Mike Rossa, full on right to the face. Harrison really hurt himself in that one. He might have broken his hands. Looks like he might have actually separated his thumb. Cover one, two, and Rossa kicks out. Pyro telling Rossa to stay down. Right to the head of... Rasa catches Pyro. Rasa gets Pyro up and sends him up and over. Rasa has got a second wind. Rasa, second row. Pyro goes chasing a poop to the face by Mike Rasa. Rasa being caught by Pyro. Pyro being pushed off. Pyro once again going after Grasa. Oh my God! A second rope Spanish fly. Both men down center of the ring. Here's Pyro giving everything he has here tonight. Listen to this crowd. Heavily split between Rasa and Pyro, two fan favorites here. Rasa being measured by Pyro, European uppercut, hits the mark. Pyro on the top, second turn, but the slips, gets a back elbow, regains his composure. Moonsault hits the mark, takes down Mike Rossa. Another shot to the head. Here's a cover, one, two, and a kick out at two. Pyro looks at Steve Mosher, and can't believe he only found two there. CMS out of nowhere. Here's a cover. One, two, and Pyro kicked out of CMS. It came out of nowhere. Rasa caught Pyro and set him up for his finishing maneuver. And Pyro, with the heart of a champion, kicked out of CMS. Rasa now nails Chris Pyro. Rasa's laughing. Wait a minute, is he saying CMS on the apron? He did something like this at Legacy and almost put him on the shelf. did put him on the shelf. CMS not on the apron, oh my god! A tombstone pile driver, the CMS is Mike Rasa calls it. Pyro's gotta be out. Steve 
Steve Mosher issuing a standing 10 count here. Again over Chris Pyro and Mike Grassa. These two giving it all here at Legacy for the richest prize in our company, the Triple Crown Championship. Grassa has Pyro pin. Here's a cover. One, two, and Pyro kicks out again. giving everything they have here tonight. And they have not finished yet. Mike Rouse arguing with Steve Mosher that it was a three count. Spinning wheel kick takes down Mike Rouse. Chris Pyro trying to find his third win. His second win is definitely gone. Pyro going to the top rope, has Grasa up, he's looking for a superplex. Pyro is being blocked by Mike Grasa holding on to that top rope. Grasa fights it off, sends Pyro pot of a tea kettle to the apron. Grasa is measuring, Mike Gra is measuring Chris Pyro. Shot right to the midsection and right to the face of Chris Pyro. And no way, no way. Is he going to do a Death Valley driver on the apron? Good God Almighty! How is Mike Grasa not dead? His neck planted on the apron. A Death Valley driver. Fans and wrestlers alike at ringside chanting on a Chris Pyro. And Mike Grassa. Mosher up to five. He's now at six. Pyro in the ring. It was at seven. Here's a cover. One, two, and Grassa kicks out. Mike Grassa kicks out. What more do these two have to give here at Legacy for the Triple Crown Championship? Mike Ross holding up two fingers. Pyro, is he going to go for 450? He won the championship with this move. 450 splash! Hits the mark! Here's a cover! One, two, no! No! Mike Gross is still alive! Gross is still alive! That's everything in the arsenal for Chris Pyro! What more is left? Pyro's gonna go for it one more time. Float over and Pyro is just dragging the lifeless body of Mike Grasso over to the corner. Pyro's calling for that 450 one more time. He climbs to the top turnbuckle, measuring Mike Grasso. 450 splat, no! Pyro slipped. He went right into the ribs of Mike Grasso. He was aiming for the ribs of Mike Grasso. Grasso got his knees up. And Pyro is now in a bad way. Grasso can barely stand. I don't know how he got his knees up. I think even the splash on the top rope could have ended it. Pyro. Grasso trying to fight back. 
His crowd probably keeping Grasa alive. Shot to the face. Grasa has Pyro up. A Pyro driver! Here's a cover by Grasa. One, two, Pyro kicked out again! Good God Almighty! The main event of the biggest show of the year for the RWA. Neither men, challenger and champion, want to quit here tonight. Rasa calling for CMS again. As Pyro up, since Pyro into the corner. Pyro up on the top turnbuckle. Grasa still measuring. Here's Pyro. He's not going to try this. He's not going to try to top rope CMS. That is incredibly dangerous. It would put Chris Pyro down. It might end his career. Chris Pyro taking a page out of Mike Grasa's book. The double stop. Is it coming? One, two. Pyro. Just found two. He cannot believe that this match continues. Fans arguing that should have been three. Pyro is inclined to believe it here. Pyro doesn't know what left. what's left. He has no idea what's left here tonight. Mosher telling the crowd that it was indeed two. Pyro measuring Mike Rossa. He has him. He's going to go for a tornado DDT. Rossa catches him. Has a Pyro. Pyro reverses. Pyro up again. Rossa was blocked. Now Pyro blocked by Rossa. Pyro again blocked by Rossa. Rossa. Ball driver. Roll up. One, two, three. to RWA Legacy. Mike Grasa, a Mohawk driver, and a small package wins this incredible heavyweight bout between two incredible performers in front of a sold-out East Providence Recreation Center. What is next for Mike Grasa? What is next for Chris Pyro? What is next for everybody in the RWA? Legacy, a huge success. Grasa, Still the champion until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rob Massey. Good night from the East Providence Recreation Center.